So uh, my name is Markus Martinstetter, and uh, I'm working uh, in MBDA in the Technical and Military Operations Department uh, as a senior advisor for German products. And uh, I am uh, in charge of product presentations for the German products towards export customers. Okay, what about uh, Enforcer family? Which type of weapon is it and uh, what is its primary purpose? What you can see here is the basic version of the Enforcer family you mentioned. This is Enforcer. It is a shoulder launch weapon system uh, with a range of two kilometer and a target spectrum of non-armored, light-armored targets. As you can see here, the system consists of two parts. It consists of a separate sighting system and what we call the munition, which is the tube, the grip set, and the missile, which is installed inside of the tube. Uh, the weight of the munition is 10 kilogram. The weight of the sighting system is approximately two kilogram, so it's a very lightweight system. And uh, the gunner is able to carry two of the munitions. To operate the weapon, he connects the firing side and the munition. He opens the front cover, he switches the system on, and the system is ready to use. So the installation of um, yeah, the firing configuration uh, is possible in less than 30 seconds. So it is very easy to handle and it can be used immediately. In the next step, the gunner uses the sighting system to detect the target, to identify the target, and by pressing a button, he gets the seeker image displayed into the sighting system. The gunner is now able to uh, select either the TV seeker or the IR seeker, depending on the optical conditions, depending on its mission. And uh, when he chose the right mode, he can set the tracker on the target and he can fire the weapon. Okay, and what is the um, performance of the system? Uh, maximum range or um, performance of the warhead? The maximum range of this system is two kilometer. And as it is a guided weapon, it can be used over two kilometer uh, also against moving targets. Um, the warhead is a warhead of approximately one kilogram, and it is a multi-effect warhead, which consists of an explosively formed projectile in the front to reach a certain penetration, uh, and a fragmentation, which is forward oriented, but also slightly backward oriented uh, because this system has three different uh, fuse modes. So the first mode is the one I explained before. So for example, when you're targeting a vehicle, you set the tracker on this vehicle and the missile will directly hit the vehicle and explode inside. The second mode is the so-called impact with delay mode, uh, which is used to engage targets in a building. So uh, the missile hits, for example, a window and the warhead will explode a few milliseconds after uh, the impact. And the third mode is an airburst mode. And this is very special for a guided missile and very special for a guided missile in this class. Uh, because um, this is to engage targets behind cover. For example, when you detect a sniper who is hidden behind a wall, then you can set the tracker at a defined position of the building, for example, a corner of that building, and you can select an offset from this position in all three dimensions. So you can uh, tell the missile uh, to explode, let's say, two meters right, five meters above, and six meters behind the selected position, and the missile will fly at that point and uh, the warhead will explode at that point. Okay, so uh, is it possible to program missile in the top attack mo uh, mode just to attack maybe uh, uh, thicker armored units uh, like, I don't know, APCs or IFVs? So currently uh, the, uh, the trajectory is a direct trajectory. Okay. Um, it is slightly lofted due to the, okay. um, to, to the physics. 
Um, but uh, it is uh, today not designed um, as a top attack mode. Um, but in the beginning, you mentioned the Enforcer family. So yep. um, this is the basic product, which is currently uh, under contract for the German Armed Forces and will be delivered to the German Armed Forces in uh, 2024. Uh, currently, we are thinking about an evolution of this product towards higher penetration and towards an anti-armor capability. Uh, this is a concept we are currently developing within MBDA. Mm -hmm. And um, there we consider things like replacing the warhead by a warhead with a higher penetration capability or even thinking about modification of the trajectory. Last question I would like to ask you about the training. Uh, how easy for uh, unexperienced soldiers get to use the system? Yeah. As I mentioned before, the uh, installation of that weapon is very, very easy. And also the operation of that system is very easy. So one of our design criteria uh, when developing this weapon was that this weapon can be used by an untrained soldiers with a very low training effort. And for example, we can use simulation-based training to train the soldiers in a very short time to use that weapon. What okay. you can see here is our Enforcer Virtual Reality uh, Trainer, which is currently installed here at our booth uh, on uh, Enforce Tech. Uh, what you can see here is the Virtual Reality Goggle, uh, which is put on the head of the trainee. And you can see here behind me, when I'm looking into different directions, this has a direct impact of the view. You can see here the view, the gunner gets displayed in his goggles. In addition, you will have the mock-up of Enforcer, which is exactly the same size exactly the same weight and exactly the same center of gravity of the real weapon, including the sighting system. We have a computer to control the simulation and that's it. How hard is to learn the basics of the uh, music enforcer? I think the easiest way is that you experience it by yourself. So this is the first step of this training session. Uh, now you're wearing the VR goggles and you can uh, familiarize yourself a little bit with the environment. So you can uh, have a look around. We are setting you into a realistic military scenario. Um, and uh, you can step back, for example, and uh, you, can, you can turn around. And you have a certain area where you can, you can move freely and uh, I think you get a good impression uh, in what kind of military operations you are in. We have a exactly. mouth scenario here, military operation in urban environment. And uh, you can also see the enforcer weapon uh, in front of you. Um, and this is the combination between simulation and reality. So um, in your world, you can, for example, now touch the enforcer and you can see there it is. And this is the preparation of the training. Okay. So the next step will be to put the enforcer on your shoulder and to let you use the weapon. Okay, what should so I the start? Colleague, the colleague will give the, simulate, uh, the enforcer to you. Okay. It's flying on your shoulder. I got it. You got it? Yes. And now my colleague will uh, tell you how to handle the weapon. Okay. And uh, he will bring your fingers in the right position. Okay. Uh, as we already said, the left finger of your right hand with the trigger, the okay. safety issue with your left hand, this finger for the target designation and for the, uh, for the lock on. Okay, I'm and ready. I will give you a target. And at first for every target you have to do the laser and afterwards the lock-on. Okay. And if we have the lock-on, you can fire. Okay. So the procedure, when you see a target, is that you're bringing the target into the middle of your sighting system, of your view. Then 
you measure the distance between yourself and the target, I understand. the distance will be displayed to you in the optics. And then you set the tracker on the target and you fire the weapon. I don't see it yet. There it that. is. There are two vehicles at the moment. Okay, got two it. Two weeks are okay, approaching. The cross, yes. Okay. It's locked on. Uh, switching to fire. Fire. So again, yeah. you, you didn't you didn't hit the target. Okay. With the cross on the vehicle, laser target designation. So the first step. Yes, lock on and fire. Hit. Next it. target. To the right with the cross. Okay. Yes. So that's the second target. And we've got it. No, I don't think so. Okay. Because I think we hit the. Uh, the target is moving great when the target goes uh, okay. again into your side. Use the cross. And now we are engaging a moving target. Okay, I see it. The, no, oh, no, yes, no. On the target. Okay. Higher. Okay. Yeah, fire. Yes, that's all. Okay.